Good morning, dear colleagues. I appreciate an opportunity to present research results at the plenary session of the 6th International Scientific and Practical Conference, Psychological and Pedagogical Problems of Modern Specialist Formation. My name is Natalia Malocha. I am PhD postdoc doing a research on academic administrative discourse. I am from Kharkiv University of Humanities, People's Ukrainian Academy. The focus of this research is on the specific nature of communication which finds its manifestation in what we call academic administrative discourse by which we understand the type of discourse of top academic administrators or university leaders. AAD is viewed here as a subtype of the academic discourse. The choice of an academic administrative discourse as the object of study has been determined by the increasingly significant role assigned to higher educational institutions in developing social and humanitarian interaction in today's globalized world. An urgent need has emerged to study discursive practices of AA who usually take an active part in the social changes. A contemporary AA is a high-ranking university administrator responsible for what is happening in the given institution, a person formulating the mission, values and strategy of the university. In view of this fact, a comprehensive study of an academic administrator discourse emerges as a priority in discourse studies. Researchers have undertaken a systematic enough study of characteristics and competences of university heads from the point of view of sociology of education, philosophy, psychology, leadership theories, the socio-economic approach. However, the nature and characteristics of university academic administrators' communication, their talk and text, global and local discursive strategies, as well as the factors affecting them have been in the main neglected by linguists. This underlines the topical value of this research. In this respect, the social linguistic approach with its meta language and apparatus seems to offer the best opportunities for describing and analyzing academic discourse in general and academic administrative discourse in particular. The purpose of the present research is to identify and classify academic administrative discourse genres on the basis of an in-depth study of authentic speeches and messages delivered by American and British academic administrators with their subsequent analysis and highlighting ethno-culturally marked genres in academic administrative discourse let's talk about classification criteria. Summarizing the studies of discourse genres, we interpret genre as a regular socially and culturally determined type of oral or written communication, including those in an electronic form characterized by a unity of the form and content as well as by such dimensions as goals, participants and the environment of a specific discursive event. In our classification, the concepts of primary and secondary genres are presented as primary epideictic and secondary epideictic genres. The former include ceremonial, ritual speeches of AA. Secondary epideictic genres may be defined as frame genres, as they frame events, and usually they have follow specific model and specific requirements as to format, structure, language, and style. We propose the classification of academic administrative discourse genres based on a set of opposites distinguishing between oral and written, traditional and innovative, epideictic and non-epideictic genres. We also take into account formal parameters of the genre, such as formal, pragmatic, and formal technical ones. The configuration of the above differentiating criteria allows to identify the genre structure of AAD in American and British academic cultures in all its complexity for further linguistic and sociolinguistic finding. 
The empirical base of the study includes samples of oral and written statements made by the top administrators of 10 leading universities of the USA and UK. We have analyzed a corpus of more than 4,000 oral, written and video presentations, over 30,000 minutes of video recordings available on the official university websites, as well as publications by academic administrators of American and British universities in social networks such as Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. The analysis was performed in the following way. First, samples of AAD of American and British university leaders were identified and classified according to the above-mentioned criteria. Next, the data obtained were generalized, structured, and presented in a spreadsheet. Finally, the American and British data were contrasted in order to find out common and distinctive features of the respective AAD varieties and draw conclusions accordingly. Let's consolidate what we have found. Our analysis of the selected corpus is suggestive of the fact that both British and American varieties of AAD present integrated, multi-channel communicative systems whose purpose is to inform the public about the university achievements and topical projects, emphasize and popularize its system of values, share its best practices, and attract the best academic staff and potential applicants. All of that is aimed at promoting a positive image of the institution and emphasizing its competitive advantages. Our contrastive analysis shows that similarities between the American and British AAD certainly prevail over the observable distinctions between them. Thus, in both American and British academic cultures, AAD has a distinct epideictic focus, which may be regarded as a distinctive characteristic feature of this subsystem of English academic discourse. In American academic administrative discourse, unique genres are considered to be the following. In the subsystem of oral epideictic genres in American AAD, in contrast to its British parallel, there are traditional speeches addressed to the freshmen and in particular graduates of reserve officers of the U.S. Armed Forces. Oral meditative genres in American AAD include religious and liturgical speeches, speeches by university presidents in a university chapel in connection with honoring graduates, baccalaureate address, or speeches during the church service prayer address. The primary epideictic written genre is represented in American AAD by panegyrics praising university professors, consistent appeals to alumni with gratitude for the financial support of the university as well as appeals to various government agencies or senior government officials criticizing their decisions. Along with the innovative written electronic genre Twitter publications, there are that are common to the compared systems, the presidents of American universities actively practice personal and interactive micro-publications on Facebook and Instagram. Among the genre variety of British AAD that is not represented in its US counterpart subsystem are the following. In the system of oral epideictic genres, along with the inaugural solemn speeches of the stepping up vice chancellor acting as the chief administrator and academic leader, there are inaugural lectures, lunch hour lectures, including aspects of university further development uh, featured. There are no analogs in the American AA culture in the system of oral popular science genre for radio speeches, radio lectures, radio interviews performed by the heads of British universities. Social 
political oral genres, including speeches of British university leaders in the national parliament, are inherent in British AAD. In the epistolary genre, the leaders of British universities regularly publish letters and messages dedicated to the beginning or end of the school year, as well as to inform the staff about the decisions taking, taken on the issues of pay and compensation package, social and political situation rela related to Brexit and other matters. So, on the whole, the AAD in American and British academic subcultures has been proved to have a fairly extensive palette of genres, oral and written, traditional and innovative, epideictic and non-epideictic, interactive and non-interactive, along with ethno-culturally marked genres such as baccalaureate addresses and religious prayers addresses found in the American academic AAD and speeches in the national parliament and radio speeches marking the British academic tradition denoting the well-balanced, dynamically developing communicative academic subculture aimed at creating a positive image of the university they represent, promoting its achievements and highlighting its noble humanitarian mission. Thank you for your attention. This abstract reflects a part of the conducted research. The wider look is presented in other publications.